Day soldiers in the 100th Battalion, 442nd Regimental Combat Team, proved their valor in the battlefield campaigns of World War II. Family Young goes to Northern California in search of one of the very few living veterans who answered the call to go for broke. They were just boys, really, right out of high school, unaware and unprepared for the roles they would soon play in American history. The past is captured in images black and white, blurred with faces and names lost to time. But not for Lawson Sakai. Aloha. At 95, he remembers in detail the events that stole his youth. Sunday morning, I called some of my classmates. Let's go join the Navy. Ed Hardage, Roy Kettner, Jimmy Keyes, all accepted. And Sakai, they said, wait a minute. You're a Jap. We don't want Japs in the Navy. Get out of here. Soon after, another shock. Whoever they were in charge made a statement saying we're going to take you to one of the camps. We had no idea what they were talking about when they said camps. Here I'm an American citizen. My 1A status in the draft had been changed to 4C. Enemy alien. 1943 comes along. They decide they're going to form the 442. <laughs> Two, three, four. A marching cadence of Uncle Sam's fighting men with Japanese faces and Japanese names. Sakai was finally able to enlist. At Camp Shelby, he met Nisei from Hawaii, music loving rascals who spoke another language. Why you don't talk like me? You know, like. <laughs> There was strife between the Hawaii and mainland boys, but it was a cohesive unit that left training camp for Europe, where the 100th Battalion, 442nd Regimental Combat Team saw their first fighting. You see that picture there? That's October 14. Bobby Maeda's next to me. The next day, Bobby lost his arm. I'm only 20 years old, but I'm looking forward to October 27 because I'll be 21. A legal person. The morning of the 27th, all of a sudden a germ popped up, maybe 10, 12 feet away from me. Oh, nothing happened. I had a BAR. I just went tut, tut, tut. And that's when the helmet came off and I could see just a young man, 14 or 15. Well, that's how I celebrated my 21st birthday. Sakai would be wounded in Italy and France, earning four Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, Legion of Honor of France, and Congressional Gold Medal. After the war, he returned to California, enrolled in Pepperdine, got married, had four children, and worked the family farm. He has dedicated his retirement years to keeping Nisei history alive. The first generation and the second generation sacrificed so much, including their bodies, so that future young generations could prosper. In Morgan Hill, California, Pamela Young, KHON2 News. And it wasn't only the men who volunteered to serve in our armed forces. Tomorrow we go to Los Angeles for a tribute to the Nisei women who also enlisted. And our documentary, Back to Bruyere, Legacy of the 100th, airs Thursday on KHON2 at 9.30.